This is Story Recapped. Today I'm going to explain an action adventure and sci-fi film called Maze Runner The Scorch Trials. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. After escaping the maze with his fellow gladers, Thomas wakes up in a helicopter. Soldiers usher the teens into their facility while holding off the rabid infected people known as the Cranks. In the facility, the leader, Jansen, welcomes Thomas and the Gladers, Teresa, Minho, Newt, Frypan, and Winston. Jansen promises to take them to a safe zone where Wicked can't find them. They are immune to the flare virus, therefore Jansen believes they are humanity's chance for survival. The gladers are then given medical evaluations and their blood samples are taken. During this, Thomas watches Dr. Crawford approach Theresa. Thomas is then taken into an interrogation room where Jansen asks him what he knows about Wicked. Thomas admits he used to work with Wicked, but they sent him to the maze where he watched his friends die. Jansen wonders why Wicked sent Thomas into the maze, but Thomas insists that he doesn't remember why. Afterward, Thomas is led to the cafeteria where he finds more young people from different mazes. He joins a table where the rest listen to another maze survivor recounting how they were saved. The other kid points to Aris, who's been in the facility the longest, coming from a maze full of girls. Jansen arrives to announce the next batch of people who will be transferred to the safe zone. Thomas sees Teresa walking with Crawford outside, so he tries to follow them. A guard blocks his way and tells him that Teresa will just undergo more tests. That evening, Thomas hears the vents opening and finds Aris. Aris urges him to follow him, so Thomas crawls inside. Through the grates, they watched covered gurneys wheeled into a restricted area. Aris tells Thomas they bring new gurneys every night, but he doesn't know what's inside because the vents don't reach the restricted room. The next day, Jansen gathers more teens from the cafeteria. Thomas has told the gladers what he saw, but Newt advises him to keep out of trouble until they know more. Still, when Jansen and the rest leave, Thomas pretends to be amongst the new batch. The guard blocks him, knowing that he wasn't called. Thomas still tries to slip through, causing a ruckus that catches Jansen's attention. The gladers are thrown back into the room, where Thomas reveals that he stole the guard's keycard to open the restricted area. He insists that the facility is hiding something, but the others are unconvinced since the facility gave them proper meals and beds, which they haven't had in a long time. Suddenly, Aris arrives from the vents, and Thomas joins him. Using the keycard, they open the door to the restricted room and find the teens called by Jansen unconscious while hooked up to tubes. They hear the door open, so they hide. Jansen arrives and speaks to lead scientist Ava Page from a video call. Thomas is surprised to see her alive given that he watched her shoot herself in a video when he escaped the maze. Ava orders Jansen to have all the teens sedated and ready for harvest. Jansen bargains for more time and assures her that the subjects are safe in the facility. However, Ava complains that the right arm has already taken over two other facilities, so she cannot afford to lose more subjects since she's close to a cure for the flare virus. Thomas hurriedly heads back to his room and explains to his friends that Ava is alive and the facility is also a part of Wicked. Soon, Jansen and his men arrive, but the gladers have already left. Thomas leads the gladers out of the vents, but Aris heads back, claiming to do something to help them escape. Winston joins him to help while the rest move forward. However, they run into Crawford just as the alarm blares. Jansen heads to the control room and sees Gladers taking Crawford hostage. Jansen tells his men to head to the medical wing, knowing that Thomas will come for Teresa. A guard soon blocks the Gladers' way, shooting taser bullets at them, but Minho knocks him down. Thomas takes the gun and they continue to the medical wing, where they find Teresa. More guards arrive, so Thomas and Newt smash the window to the next room, but they come face to face with a masked man. Thomas instantly shoots him with a taser and they hurry to the exit. Thomas uses the keycard to unlock the door, but it doesn't work. Suddenly, Jansen arrives and warns them that they won't survive on the Scorch, where they would be killed by either the Cranks or the Harsh Elements. Suddenly, the door opens, revealing Aris and Winston on the other side. Thomas fires at Jansen and the guards before hurrying out just before the emergency door closes. The gladers head out into the dark sandstorm with the guards chasing them. Teresa reaches an abandoned mall, so they seek shelter inside. Thomas explains that the facility is still wicked, and they were keeping the others alive while draining them. Thomas believes the right arm is Wicked's enemy, so they should find them. In the building, they find a makeshift shelter with flashlights and clothes. Thomas urges them to split up and gather supplies. 
While searching, Minho discovers a lamp and figures that the building has power, so they follow the wires into the generator room. Minho switches the generator on, powering on all the lights in the building. The lights alert the cranks, so Minho and Thomas run back to the mall and barricade the door. However, more cranks are in the building, so they run to the others. The gliders head to the upper floors, but a crank tackles Newt, so Thomas kicks it off. They reach a narrow hallway that leads to a dead end. While the rest try to break down the locked doors, Winston shoots the cranks. Finally, Frypan slams the door open, but Winston gets pulled back. The cranks claw at his stomach until the others pull him out and escape. The gliders spend the night hiding behind the debris. Thomas wakes up the next day and finds that the cranks are gone. While walking on the streets of a ruined city, airships from Wicked fly overhead, so they hide. Eventually, they reach the edge of the city, but Winston collapses. While resting, Teresa reveals to Thomas that Wicked did something to her to cause her memories to return. She remembers how they arrived at Wicked in the first place and argues that they should go back. She insists that things aren't so simple, but before she can explain further, they hear a gunshot. Winston reveals that he's infected and it's getting worse. He begs them not to let him turn into a crack, so Newt returns the gun to him. Winston thanks him and urges them to leave. The gliders mournfully say goodbye to their friend and Thomas apologizes before leaving. Once they're far enough, they hear the gunshot that ends Winston's life. That evening, they conclude that not all of them are immune. The gliders continue their journey. While sleeping the following evening, Thomas sees lights ahead, so he wakes the rest. A thunderstorm looms behind them, so they rush to the lights. With lightning striking, the gliders reach an abandoned looking warehouse. Suddenly, Minho gets struck by lightning. They carry him inside where he fortunately wakes up. Teresa checks the place and sees chained cranks all around them. Suddenly, a light opens and a woman walks to them out of the crank's reach. Brenda invites them inside where they find other survivors. Brenda takes them to their leader, Jorge. Thomas tells him that they're looking for the right arm, but Jorge claims they're long gone. When Jorge asks where they came from, they refuse to answer. The men pin them down, allowing Brenda to scan the back of Thomas's neck and reveal that they're from Wicked. The gliders are hung upside down in a tower, and Jorge tells him that his men intend to sell them to Wicked. However, he hasn't decided on it, so he asks what they know about the right arm. Jorge reveals that though the others believe they're gone, he's heard them on the airwaves. He offers a deal in exchange for information. Thomas explains that the right arm hides in the mountains and rescues the kids from Wicked. Before Jorge can continue, one of his men, Barkley, arrives. In his office, Jorge gathers his equipment and tells Brenda that they're leaving. He intends to use the gliders to meet with the right arm, but they can't let the others know. However, Wicked soldiers arrive and infiltrate the building. Meanwhile, Minho pushes Teresa to reach the lever and release them. Jansen's helicopter arrives and he orders them to return the teens, otherwise they'll all be killed. While the gliders make their escape, Barkley makes his way to them. Jorge tells Brenda to fetch the teens while he prepares a song. Barkley blocks the teens from escaping and calls Jansen from a radio. Brenda arrives and shoots Barkley, then leads the teens away. Before leaving, however, Teresa notices Barkley's radio. Meanwhile, Jorge plays music that echoes throughout the building. He then meets with the rest and leads them to an escape route. The gliders zip through a rope to get to the next building, however Brenda runs off, so Thomas chases after her. Brenda searches for an item in Jorge's office, but the soldiers find them. They rush out of the building as the song nears the end. Cornered, Brenda and Thomas traverse over narrow beams. Finally, the song ends and triggers multiple bombs all around the building. After the explosion, the building collapses, so Brenda and Thomas drop into the elevator shaft. After the dust settles, Brenda explains that Jorge wants to use them to get to right arm's safe haven. Jorge has a friend named Marcus who took kids out of wicked facilities. Brenda figures that Jorge will take the others to him. Brenda and Thomas open a drain to the sewers but already hear cranks inside. Still, they have no choice but to enter. While searching for a path, Brenda finds black roots growing in one of the tunnels. They watch a rat run around until a crank from the roots grabs it and eats it. The scent of blood attracts more cranks, so Brenda and Thomas run. They rush towards the light but find themselves at a cliff overlooking a pit between two collapsed buildings. They climb into one of the buildings as the cracks continue to chase them. They rush up a fire escape but when Brenda reaches for a rail, it breaks, causing her to fall onto a cracked window. She tries to move but every move forms a new crack. Thomas maneuvers his way to her but a crack drops down and tackles Brenda. 
She kicks it off, but it continues attacking. Thomas pries a metal bar off, grabs Brenda, then smashes the glass window. The window breaks and the crack falls. Once they're back on the streets, Brenda reveals that the crack bit her leg. She knows she's infected but urges Thomas to continue. They find a street full of survivors, including children. Finally, they reach Marcus's building but a man claims that he's already dead. Thomas asks if the others have been there and the man claims that his friends are inside. Before letting them in, however, the man insists that they drink from a bottle he offers them. With no choice, they both drink and the man pushes them inside. Inside, they split up to look for the others. Thomas starts to get dizzy as he searches the many faces in the club. He reunites with Brenda who's also feeling the effects of the drink. She kisses Thomas but he imagines that she's Teresa. He backs away, hurting Brenda's feelings. Amidst the party, Thomas hallucinates before passing out. Thomas recalls the time when he and Teresa met at the Wicked server room. He asked Teresa to trust that he had to do whatever he did because he couldn't keep watching his friends die. Thomas wakes up with Teresa and Minho beside him. He finds Jorge beating the man who gave him the drink. He learns that the man is actually Marcus. Jorge demands the location of the right arm, but Marcus reveals that he left them long ago. Marcus explains that he lures the teens into his club and allows them to have fun before letting Wicked take them. Angered, Jorge aims a gun at him, so Marcus finally concedes. He tells them that the right arm has an outpost in the mountains, but it's far away. To speed things up, Jorge steals Marcus's car. They soon reach a dead end where someone shoots them, forcing them to take cover. Jorge instructs Thomas to throw a bomb, but two women hold them at gunpoint before they do it. They gather the rest, but one of the women recognizes Aris. They remove their mask and Aris recognizes them as Harriet and Sonia from Miss Mays. Harriet and her group take them to the right arms camp and introduce them to the leader, Vince. Brenda suddenly collapses, alerting the others that she's infected. Immediately, Vince aims to shoot, but Thomas urges him to help her instead. A doctor named Mary stops the commotion and recognizes Thomas, though he doesn't remember her. Mary reveals that he was her informant who gave them coordinates to wicked compounds. She orders the others to save Brenda to repay Thomas. Inside her tent, Mary reveals that she used to work for Wicked, but when they discovered that the immune produced an enzyme from the brain that slows down the flare virus, they were willing to harvest the enzyme from the young. Mary takes a stored enzyme and injects it on Brenda. It slows down the virus, but she'll keep needing more. Before leaving, Mary reminds Thomas that they can't take Brenda when they move out. Thomas watches over Brenda and notices the item she retrieved from Jorge's office. He opens it and finds a photo inside. Brenda wakes up and explains that it's her brother. Brenda recounts that Wicked took him, but after testing them, they discarded Brenda and kept her brother. She hasn't seen him since. Later, Thomas finds Teresa alone on a ledge. Teresa recounts that she only had her mother before Wicked, but she got sick. Teresa kept her mother locked up, but she turned into a crank. One night, Teresa checked on her and discovered that she had taken her eyes out. Teresa stresses that millions are suffering as she did, so they can't turn their backs on them. Over her shoulders, Thomas sees helicopters heading their way. He realizes that she called Wicked, so he rushes to warn the others. However, before he reaches the camp, a helicopter drops bombs, burning everything. Soldiers descend and tase everyone they can find. The gladers help Harriet and Vince fight back. Thomas finds Brenda's tent on fire, but she has already escaped. Jorge urges him to escape with them, but Thomas wants to save his friends. A soldier tosses an electric grenade onto Vince's truck, knocking him and the teens out. Jorge tells Thomas that they can't do anything but escape. Still, Thomas refuses to leave without his friends. The helicopter lands as the soldiers round up everyone. Jansen searches for Thomas, so he surrenders. Soon, a large airship lands and Ava steps out. She orders the soldiers to take their captives in while she greets Thomas. Teresa stands next to Ava and Jansen reveals that they intentionally restored her memories, knowing that she'd help them. Teresa apologizes but stresses that they need to find the cure. Mary confronts Ava but Jansen shoots her. As Aris and Sonia are taken to the airship, Thomas reveals a bomb, threatening to blow everyone up. Ava asks if he truly wants his friends to die, but the gladers stand behind him, encouraging him to do it. Before he pulls the trigger, Jorge comes crashing in with a truck. The crash provides a distraction to allow the others to fight back. Thomas tosses the bomb onto some soldiers and blows him up. Jansen knocks him down and aims a gun at him, but Brenda shoots Jansen. The others help in the fight, but Min Ho gets tased and taken. Thomas and the others try to get to him, but they're overwhelmed, so Jorge pulls them back. They watch as Minho and Teresa are taken into the airship and returned to Wicked. In the morning, the survivors recoup. Thomas declares that he wants to rescue Minho, even if he has to do it alone. The others believe it's hopeless, but Thomas points out that Wicked will never stop, so he'll stop them. 
The others are convinced and look to Thomas to lead them. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.